says if the staff seem to think you could be attempting to do any of these things. So basically if you breathe or fart out the fucking direction, then they could do you for it. There is an improvement as it was on Monday. There's still room for more improvement. Just because you're being discharged doesn't mean that you can slacken off. Understand, lads? Staff. So when I come back in tomorrow, it's gonna be even better, isn't it? Staff! Yeah. Like I said, ready for distribution. Morning inspections. They're all important because, you know, the serviceman knows exactly where he stands. His kit, his turnout, it's never normally quite right in the first days here. They're put on show parade, they're advised, they're given um, a verbal warning. There is a great deal of hassle at that stage. This morning's inspection is more important than usual. It's by an officer. He's looking for the best room. Right, we check the jackets, uh, Sergeant Major. He's renowned for his attitude to dust. Sir, my son, I'd like to, sir. Where are you from? Right, sir. All right. You ready? Yes, sir. Where'd you get that hat from, then? Get that Trained. pink skirt. Uh, Have a bit, Sir. Right, do you recognise that? Yes, sir. Right. Six zero nine, lovely, sir. Right, do you recognise that? Okay, attention to detail. Make sure that you check off your bed space area. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Thanks, Arf Leckett. Right, the radio. Yes, um, both those rooms had dust. That room was the best, OK? So they've won the radio right, for this sir. week, if you like okay, to know. Sir. Room 39, sir. The right, inmates sir. will only get the radio for two right. hours a right. night. Right. They don't have TV. Well done, gents. All right? You obviously got the best room this week. You've got yourselves the radio, OK? Sir, sir. Right on. Keep the standard up. Don't drop it just because you've got the radio this week. Do you understand? Aye, sir. sir. Right. Sort yourselves out now for training. Having a radio actually is um, a considerable perk to them, and so yeah, to that end, it's important. But I think, from my point of view, uh, the fact that it makes them work together as a team, as a room, uh, to meet an objective, then that's um, that's the purpose of the radio. I think the setting of standards, no matter what they are, is important. Um, again, it introduces an element of competition. In it, also introduces uh, the possibility of one SUS shining against another and therefore you know making himself stand out the only, the only thing we're not used to is like the bullshit the the pressing and that not really into it no need for it doesn't win walls and stuff does it by the job then stay off the wall with the tradition being taught i don't want to hear any clutching or banging of weapons keep all of them any questions no, no, sir. Sir. any questions no, no, sir. Sir. stand by go get your weapons get him get him get him get Work hard, aggression, you don't want to do it, come on. That's a good night, well done, that's good, that's good, keep it up. Good, now keep going, keep going. Good night, well done. Don't give in, it's in the mind, it's in the mind, keep going. Good lad, aggression, come on, aggression. Edward, over and over. Why have you stopped? You're giving in. Don't give in. Come on, mate. Come on, Well done. That's good. The inmates of the glass house call this beasting. Private Ride will soon be released. The staff ensure he'll know how to behave when he says farewell to the commanding officer. Do not salute or attempt to salute the commandant. If you make any hand movements towards him, the RSM will pounce on you. Right. Once he leaves the glass house, Ride is also out of the army. 
He says he deliberately got himself thrown out by smoking marijuana. Get the arms going through to rear shoulder height. Because I'm only 18, I would have had to have done, I've done two years now, and I would have had to have done another three years before I was allowed to leave the army. And I thought that was a bit, bit um, too much of a commitment, um, saying, you know, leave him when you're 22, 21. And I wasn't really prepared to make that um, step. So I thought, get out, you know, within 60 days and start again, back into Civvy Street. Is there only one place where you need to stop? Did you take him off to clean him? No, you didn't, did you? Right? A, you're not cleaning them properly, and B, you will damage the uniform because you'll get brasso all over it. Before he can get out, Ride faces his toughest inspection so far. Point two, the boots are filthy. Get your boots sorted out, come back carrying them, get your brasses on your collar and sort it out. Go! He's a problem, Chair. When he first came in, he was very um, untidy and he hasn't improved much at all. This kit was uh, in very bad order. No, it's just in bad order. <laughs> fair, fair enough to everyone else that's soldiering on. They're, they're doing it for a purpose to become better soldiers, but Wait. for us, this, this is supposed to make me a better civilian. A bit of tissue. So. You can't beat the system, or can you? You can't beat the system and self admittance to drugs like, but we're all druggies. I don't mind to get out of the army, and so. I've done my 60 days right, and now I'm out. He's giving other staff problems um, with his attitude um, and his inattention to detail, basically. He's a very immature young man. Make sure you tuck your shirt inside the jacket. Staff, right? You clean these brushes? Yeah, staff. You still got a smudge. Top left hand corner, yeah. Yeah, fingerprints still on it. This is the second time you've been on. Hold your hand out, take the boots. Go away, come back in five minutes, with your brushes done properly, and your boots pour underneath. Underneath? Underneath. Left hand. March. Some people, if the face doesn't fit anyway, they get put down as an attitude problem. Only the staff don't try and tell them that. They just put them down as an attitude problem or get them to have an attitude anyway. So either way, they could have you whatever way they wanted to have you. There's always going to be an element of the face fits, do you know what I mean? I mean, some people are just characters and they'll stand out. Have you felt yourself um, to be improved? Have you let it lay out of this experience? Not really, sir. It's just a fuck about from the beginning. Why? Because 60 days discharge for self-confession of drugs is just it's pointless being here, isn't it? Just wasting your time and everyone else's. Yeah. Yeah. Keep working. You've got one and a half minutes now. <laughs> Things running out for you and me. It's going to be before and after. <laughs> we'll probably end up throwing them, so... It's just, it's the last night and they think this is the last time that they can fuck me about ever. So, that's basically what it is. They're getting their money's worth. For private ride, the crunch has come. Get your bitch down. No, I'm not going. Right, let's try this thing, OK? Just come down. You got it. Put your head down. The staff have the power to delay his release if he fails again. Now what you doing these, so now they're done. Yeah. Sorry, sir. I watch you doing these, so now they're done. Turn round. Stop shaking, Ray. You go racing. You quite comfortable tomorrow, Commandant? Yes, staff. You've been through it, have you? Yes, staff. About done. Take your bits up. Okay, they require a bit more work on tonight during the lockup period. Okay, so they're much better than they were five minutes ago. Okay, so good luck tomorrow when you get out. Okay, left hand. Good match. Working. Don't bring it. Cheers, sir. Just before eight at night, and the platoon in room 39 get their hard won radio. Genuine music. 30 week in a row, this room is one of. 30 week room in this room's going. 
supreme platoon. Creme de la creme. Of this the is the platoon. We always win it. It's just, you know, it's just too much. <laughs> no, we not. always get the radio. No, we don't. Third week, Bruno is saying something. Everyone in this room's been in about seven, eight weeks, so you start to get the grips of the score after a bit, like. Private Raw is in the glass house for six months. He knifed another soldier. It's just all weird stuff. A lot of it's like music influence. I'm into heavy metal and things like that, so it's, it's all the evil stuff that comes out of there. That's, that came from an idea of a song I've got about. I've got a group, uh, a group called Commando, which are a bit of a punk group, and they did a song called Subhuman. So, And I started off, and it started off like that much. And it looked quite attractive in that. And I thought, the, you know, the, he's going to start thinking I'm saying or something, so I pulled her eye out and put a robot sort of eye in. He's <laughs> actually done some of his own tattoo now, haven't you? That's just all sorts. Majority of it's skulls, you know. I love skulls. And, you know, it's sort of first thing, you get your first paycheck, you've got loads of money, you think, great, so you go and blow it all on stupid things. And I blew mine on tattoos. Tell him what you're in for, Stephen. <laughs> Stabbing He's someone. In for sharing, yeah. sharing sharp ob objects with a friend. <laughs> I went for someone with a flick knife and got myself a six month old day for nothing. Ring, ring, shake! Six, eight, five, fifth and awarded six months EPDR 31st of May, sir. Right, looking around, Biffy, everyone else has got their knife on the left-hand side of their utensils. The attention to detail. Good. Sir, so 652 McLaughlin Award, 112 days, EPDR 40 to February, week 5, staff. Sir. Sir. Come on, there's an officer present. Thanks, sir. How long have you been here? Five weeks, staff. You want to start getting a grip of yourself? Yes, sir. All right? Sir. Sir, 651 McMilo awarded under 12 days detention, EPDR 26th of February, week five, sir. Week five, and after five weeks, we don't know how to put our belt on. Sir. Well, what's your excuse? There is none, sir. Do you know the rules, male in the right hand, female in the left hand? No, sir. Will you do now? Yes, sir. Break rank, take your belt off, sort it out. Break rank. Yeah, break and rank. Sure. From here to the I'll tell you break rank. Okay? You've done basic one, two and three. I'm on basic three, sir. You're on basic three. Well, I shall be speaking to your drill, stru drill instructor this morning. Because if you're on basic three, you should know how to break rank. Do you understand? Yes, sir. We have to guard against having the regime so strict uh, that we don't achieve our aim. Uh, that they don't get the opportunity to um, practice self-discipline, which is important. At the end of the day, that's the thing that really matters. We can put as much discipline on as we like while they're here, but if when they go away, they don't practice self-discipline, then we've really not achieved uh, what we're here to achieve. Private Ride is almost out of the glass house, but he faces one last beasting. You have been exercised on the Commandant's rehearsal, yes? Yes, sir. Make sure you think drill, drill, drill at all times, or you will be staying here. Step to the pace I call out. Quick, but just right, just right, just right. Just right, 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 there, keep it going. Step sharp. Well, I think the pace of life's important here because um, if we allowed youngsters who are in detention just to sit around feeling sorry for themselves, then that's exactly what they would do, and they would fester and they, in their own minds they would brood and what was right and what was wrong with what they'd done, what we were doing to them. If we keep things on the boil, then they don't have time to reflect like that. Yeah. They've got the rank, they've got the brains, sort of thing. And you're just the Bakshi private. So it starts, you know, from there, really. You go in and you shake a bit and everyone's shouting at you beforehand. You march in quickly, you salute him. He spills off his little sentence that he's learnt at breakfast. And you march out again, and that's it. So you only see him for a couple of minutes. So. Your kit's got to be perfect, and yet he doesn't even see your boots because he's sitting behind a desk and all that lot, but it's part of the army bullshit, really. It's a good laugh, so... SUS, SUS, SHARP! Step off, quick, ah!